Hi. Hi, friends. We're doing it. We're doing it again. I'm excited. I want to start by sending a huge, huge, huge thank you to everyone who has been part of this journey. I'm 20,000 subscribers in. I could have never believed to get here. I was talking to Jorge about this um, in our podcast and I remember when we first started and how I thought, oh, maybe in one year I, ha I will have 10,000 subscribers. And here we are maybe eight months into it and we're at 20,000 subscribers. Thank you everyone and welcome to our live where I'm going to be answering your assumptions, your questions, watching your chat, see what you're saying to all of you watching, being part of this journey. Cheers to y'all. Whew, the first sip is always, huh. Okay, for those who are new, I'm just gonna give you like a, like an elevator pitch, a 30 second of who I am. I'm Christy from Barranquilla, Colombia. Uh, I'm in my 30s, early maybe, mid, mid, early, mid 30s. <laughs> and I started this channel with my older brother, Jorge, who lives in Argentina. I currently live in Florida. I had no idea what the reaction world was. I had no idea people watched other people watching things. So when he reached out to me and said, hey, let's do a reaction channel, I'm like, what? And he said, yeah, people watch, you watch things. And I, <laughs> I said, okay, sure. People are, have sent in some things that they think I do, I like, I am. They've sent it through Instagram through Patreon and through YouTube. And so I'm here to touch on all of them. Oh, oh my God, there's also Reddit assumptions. There are also Reddit assumptions. They're not like organized by importance. All of them are important in my heart. So let's see what y'all thought of me. One, Rodney Martin, 7110, he goes on congratulating me for the subscribers. Um, his assumption is my guilty pleasure. He says uh, that is some sort of Ben and Jerry's ice cream while reading a book. He's way off, he's way off. I don't read a lot. I read specific books. How do I, how do I explain this without sound, sounding too crazy? I read like manifestation crap, okay? I'm a millennial and I need my life to get better and become a millionaire in the future. So that's what I read. That's what I'm, I'm a witch. Never eating ice cream. Like I love Ben and Jerry's milk and cookies, but I'm more of a salty, savory kind of like snacker. Like I'll eat ice cream if it's part of a dessert, if we are having ice cream. But I prefer eating like chips, or cheese, like I'm a more of like a salty, savory kind of girl. You'll catch me literally eating cheese everywhere, on the beach, in bed, on the table, just wherever you, you can eat cheese. That's where I'll be doing it. Joey is not here. Let me see, let me see where he's at. Hi, sit. Hi, say hi to everyone. Oh, who's here? Hi, Fief, come here. That's it. She, she's, she's not as trained as Joey. She says, no food here. This is bullshit. <laughs> eh, por la amistad. <sighs> Let's move to Nimbus Cloud. I assume you prefer to read books written in Spanish, but prefer English for movies or TV. Interesting, because I don't read books in Spanish. I also don't watch movies and TVs in Spanish. I'm all English, which is weird because I speak Spanish in my home. Spanish is my first language. I actually speak like Spanglish. You'll hear me say like, pero, or like, I know, and like my videos are full of Spanish, but typically I don't like exercise it outside of speaking it. Like, yeah, I'll read, I'll read stuff in Spanish if I, if it's there and I have to, and I'll watch stuff in Spanish if it's, that you don't have an English version of it. <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know why. 
Um, but that's an interesting assumption, and I wonder why you think that. If you're here, Nimbus Cloud, why would you assume that? Ted Hammond, when you are thinking in your head, do you think in Spanish or in English? Okay, great question. I typically think in the language that I'm that the thing I'm thinking about is. So if I'm thinking about work and I work in English, I think about English. If I'm thinking about like something that my dad told me or that I have to like figure out with my dad or my brother, I think of it in Spanish. So it depends on like what it's, o sea, para quién es, ¿entiendes? Porque si es para alguien en inglés, lo pienso en inglés, si es para alguien en español, lo voy a pensar en español. Comprendo. Adam, my friend Adam, my assumption is that you are much more liberal than conservative, even though you have lived in conservative states like Texas and Florida. Okay, let's talk about this because I've been so careful about being kind of apolitical and like don't talk about things that could be, I don't know how to say this, like I just don't want people to put me in a box or they don't like me because I'm like woke or whatever or like I'm not woke enough or whatever. So I've been really trying to keep like draw a very clear line between my personal and private life and the life that I put out and like share with y'all. But you're right, Adam, I am much more liberal than what I, <laughs> than what I like even share. And I grew up like that. My, my dad's very conservative. My family is really conservative. I'm not like a fighter for the rights and whatever. Like I just believe in what I believe and I don't give a shit. Like if you're part of it and if you're not, like I'm not gonna, I don't post things on social and I just like, I have an apolitical channel. There's no politics. In fact, when people mention like politics in my channel, I kind of like either ignore or remove the comment because I don't want people to start arguing. This is not about that, okay? My channel is about movies, enjoying the shows and the movies and just enjoying each other. I don't care who you vote for or what you believe as long as you respect me and I respect you. Thank you for that controversial question, Adam McElroy. Travis, Bickle, 1552. Congrats on 20K. I'm gonna assume being from Barranquilla, you are a very loud person and find it really difficult to whisper. Interesting. I'm definitely a loud laugher. It's actually kind of annoying. Um, and I don't notice until I like watch my videos of like recording someone and I'm like <laughs> laughing in the background like a maniac. And also <laughs> when I am in public and I laugh, I see people turning around like what's going on. And that's when I notice, oh shit, I'm like laughing too loud. I'm being too much of myself. I went to Kevin Smith's uh, podcast and someone commented on the video like, who's that? <laughs> They're like, they're like, who's that bitch laughing? <laughs> and that was me. That was me because I really, truly enjoy comedy and I let loose when something's really funny. But in terms of like being loud, loud, maybe, maybe I'm a little loud because I'm from Barranquilla and we're just so like, Wepaje, I'm happy and como que somos así como alegres y tropicales. But outside of that, I don't think that I'm, generally a loud person. I assume you hit the devil's lettuce before recording. Congrats on 20K. I don't hit the devil's lettuce before recording because it makes me kind of, like if I did, and maybe I have in like one or two videos in the beginning, If I did, I would be so spaced out or like so into the movie that I would forget to like talk about my thoughts about the movie or like externalize that internal dialogue. So I don't. I actually like make a conscious decision not to. Like I can't hit the devil's lettuce because I'm going to record today. So I mean, you're kind of wrong. You're, you're kind of off there, but it's okay. It's okay. Marvel or DC? I haven't watched any DC. None. I have no idea. So Marvel all the way. It'll be hard to take me out of the Marvel world right now. It'll be hard to say, watch DC and love it as much. I don't think it will. I don't think it can. Would I date Jackie Jr.? No, I don't date idiots. 
period. <laughs> I hope you don't disappoint me, Jackie Jr. He disappointed me over and over and over again. Merk Kitten 953. I also love Merk Kitten. By the way, I don't know if you're a guy or a girl, which doesn't matter. I would still love you anyway if you catch my drift. You comment on a lot of my soprano videos and your comments are always super insightful. You are amazing and I love to read you whenever you have things to say. You have a few assumptions, so let's go for it. I assume that you love Florida and have no regrets, regrets, regrets on moving. You're absolutely right. I love it here. I'm so close to Columbia. It's a two and a half hour flight to my hometown. Um, I love the food. There's Colombian food everywhere. I love having the beach in front of me every day. I can just drive there for 18 minute drive and I get to the beach and put my ass on the sand for four hours and I love Florida. So thank you for assuming right. I assume that you love Christmas decorating, buying gifts, etc. Mer Kitten, do you live in my brain? Yes, I do. I love Christmas. I am absolutely a Christmas gal. I would celebrate Christmas every week if possible. And I'm down for it. I love Christmas decorating, cooking, gifting, singing, movies. I assume you're not afraid of spiders. Mer Kitten, you are so right with everything you say. How do you get that knowledgeable? How are you this smart? I don't give a shit about spiders. They're tiny. They're this big. They're this big. How are they gonna hurt me? I also don't mind cockroaches. Just step on that, move on. I don't mind the little things. Mer Kitten, three for three, baby. Three for three, three for three. Let's see the next one. I assume that you like a few Taylor Swift songs, but don't consider yourself a fan. Mer Kitten, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little concerned that you know so much about me. How do you, how do you? Just tell me how do you, hmm? You have something to tell me? Some of their, some of her songs are great, but like, am, am I a fan? No. Last from Market and see if you like hit it out of the park. I assume that you're smart and your day job is something that requires brains like lawyer or legal assistant, software tech, book editor. I'm in software tech. I'm literally in software tech and I used to be an editor, not books, but an editor. Merkin, I am impressed. You take the crown. Top five soprano characters is difficult. Junior, probably. He's just so funny. Melfi, I think I really like Melfi because she represents like the grounding, the grounding kind of element in the whole show. The one person that is not <laughs> kind of insane. Livia, which I really didn't like in the beginning of the show. And now I miss her so much. I miss her cynicism. I miss, and, she, and Janice doesn't give me the feeling that Livia gave me. Like Janice, I just hate her. Livia was funny. Christopher, Christopher, and obviously Aid. Christopher and Aid. done. I don't want to talk about it. Salud. Why did I pick whiskey? I really wanted wine. Andrea, Andrea MGC. Andrea, girl, I love you. You're always around commenting great stuff. You have my back when people are being rude. You're the best. My assumptions are your celebrity crushes are controversially unattractive. Okay, that would have been true like maybe five or six years ago. I really liked Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, and now I like Bucky Barnes. He's my celebrity crush, not the actor. I don't love Sebastian Stan. I saw him in Pam and Tommy and I'm like, eh, whatever. But I saw him in Bucky Barnes and I'm like, mm. oh, and also Scarlett Johansson. But Scarlett Johansson is objectively gorgeous, so. Assumption number two, there are some movies you've watched that you said you liked, but you secretly didn't. Okay, so if I didn't like something, I don't show as much excitement for it, but I'm always sure to, even if I didn't like it, to talk about the positive things of that movie because it's somebody's favorite movie and I'm not gonna shit on someone's favorite movie because I didn't enjoy it. And liking something is kind of subjective. Art is subjective, so I'll talk about the positive things, I will say that I expected different or better. She also says 
Your favorite color is green. No, I actually don't super like green at all. I don't think I have a favorite color. All colors are great. You have an obscene big, obscenely big con collection of novelty mugs. Interesting. I don't, but I have an obscenely big collection of Yeti mugs because every company or every like company event or every, they just want to give you mugs and like, and like hydration stations. And so I have so many, but not novelty. I'm going to be reacting to Firefly soon, she assumes, and honestly, maybe. Like, a lot of people requested it. I'm kind of into the whole thing, so yeah, if it falls if it falls into the list, which I think it is, then I'll do it. And lastly, your favorite kind of music is EDM. No, 100% no. Andrea, I thought you knew me better. I thought you knew me better. EDM is not enjoyable to me, but you know, art is subjective. So some people love EDM. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone says, I'm assuming you're about to hit 20,000 subscriptions. Bruh, Brose 401. Yes, you're so right. <laughs> Uh, future boy, my dude, I assume like you that you like to dance. You're absolutely right. I'm a dancer. I'm always dancing. Um, there's never pictures of me in like events or parties because I'm always in the dance floor. They have to like go grab me from the dance floor to go take a picture at like a wedding or whatever. I actually just got up this picture. I'll show y'all. I actually just got this picture of me dancing at a party. Look at me so happy. So happy. I will dance all of the time, everywhere, forever. Jagger G says, I assume you like your steak cooked medium rare. I do. If you could take a guess, what kind of cut do I like? What kind of steak cut do I prefer? Go guess. Go guess while I get uh, actually wine because I can't drink any of this anymore. I like my zebra pants. Ribeye, Lumofino, El que venga el chuzo total, Rochi. Um, New York Strip. Oh my God, you assumed I was vegan. Interesting. I was for a little, you know, for a few years, maybe two. Um, and then I went pescatarian for a couple years. Ribeye, Porterhouse. Okay, I actually love skirt steak. <laughs> I don't know why I have tried all the cuts. I love picanha. I love picanha. Churrasco is actually a skirt steak. That's my favorite. Uh, but recently I went on a trip and ate a lot of churrasco, which is skirt steak, and realized that it's my favorite cut. And that's what I'll be ordering forever. So if you want to send me something, Send me skirt steak. <laughs> it's so, churrasco is how we say it in Colombia, entraña is in Argentina, and skirt steak is here in America. That's how we call it. Any British shows or movies that I'd consider watching? Yeah, I actually would love to watch um, Sherlock with my ex crush, Benedict Cumberbutt. Luminaire Prime, Luminaire Prime, Love him, her. I don't know what they are, but love them. They are amazing. They are always commenting and also defending me to idiots. I need a, I need defending because I don't I don't I just laugh at the things they say. And then some people jump in and are like, Ugh. Luminaire says, I assume Christy is kind, generous, beautiful, intelligent, successful, and I assume everyone wants to be around her because she brings joy to everyone she sees. Thank you. It makes me feel really good to read that. Thank you for being part of my channel. Ah, look at me. Wow, Jorge, what a dick. He says, wrong, wrong. <laughs> uh, Kevin Rossi, 7487. I assume you dislike country music. Wow, I don't dislike country music. I think country music is just fine. 
is just fine. I, I like a little twang and I like a little banjo, but I don't know if I like would listen. There's a country singer called Sam Hunt and I would listen to him because it's kind of like pop country, but I don't know if I listen to like Carrie Underwood and I don't know their names, Jason something or Luke something or like Dixie girls. Mr. Avatar, Mr. Avatar from my Patreon, I appreciate you so much. He said that he would join my Patreon for a month to help because of the whole thing with the Soprano reactions that I put out talking about how you guys know. Um, and he said he would join for a month, but he could only be around for a month. And I appreciate that someone would do something like that, like would come forth, support, and then just be like, I can't do it anymore. And I appreciate that. So Mr. Avatar says, a lot of us who have seen many movies and TV shows are the stay at home type of people who would rather not go to parties or do time consuming outside activities. So I assume you are the type that likes parties and doing things frequently in the real world. And then he goes on talking about my bro how it's so nice that my brother is my editor. So he assumes that, we are cl that I am close to a lot of my family. He also assumes it's tough to be really close to family as I go so far around the world. Let me talk about the first thing. This is such a misconception about me. People think that I'm a party girl and that I love to be out and socializing and being around people and <laughs> going out. I actually am a home girl. Like I prefer to be home, I prefer to be alone actually, or like with one person or two people. And I also can't wait for them to leave. Like I just like my little tiny space Like if there's an event, I almost don't want it in my home because I want to be able to show up like, hi, you know, make face and then leave. It's it's a big misconception of who I am. And even my close friends don't believe that of me. They th even my family thinks that I'm I'm like I'm a party girl. Don't get me wrong. I love dancing, I love going out to dinner, but I typically am more of a reserved kind of person and that's kind of weird for people to hear because I talk a lot and I'm a little loud and I like share things, but in actuality I'm most comfortable here. I am close to my family. Oh my God, who are you, who are you getting mad at Jorge? What's, what happened? What happened? Why are you mad? I didn't read the comment. Get well, never. What did he say? What did he say? View deleted message. I'm gonna view the deleted message. Nah, just over the top with the ugly tattoos. Oh. Why is he mad I have tattoos? Anyone, anyone mad? Anyone mad that I have tattoos? Yeah, I am really close with my family. Yes, it's really hard that they're all apart, but my dad has been married and divorced three times. Um, and in those three marriages and divorces, he collected five children and we are so close because my dad raised all of us five. We all grew up in the same home. From the oldest to the youngest, they're like uh, 16 years maybe, I think. So there's like a lot of us in between and we're all really, really, really close together. And we have a group chat. <laughs> Whereas my dad, my dad's first wife, who is my mom, my dad's second wife, who is my siblings' moms, and all of the five of us, and then some of the siblings' significant others. We have like this beautiful core family that is, is like a very much mod modern family. And we love that. We love that we are this modern, happy family together. We actually have been on vacations together, all of us, and spent Christmases together. It's really nice, it's really nice. He also asks, since it seems you are a world citizen, how many different languages do you know well enough to speak natives of that language? With Which language would you choose when speaking to my dogs or texting friends? Great questions. I can only speak English and Spanish. I can understand Portuguese and I know a little French. I speak to my dogs solely in English because I raised my dogs in America. I 
if anything ever happened to them or if they ran away or if I died or whatever and they needed to be taken care of by other people, I wanted to make sure that they were safe. So if they were like gonna cross the street running and someone said stop, I wanted them to understand what stop means. So I I only speak to them in English, but my home, like we speak Spanish in my home. And with my friends, it depends on who they are. If they're Spanish speaking friends, it'll be in Spanish. English speaking friends, it will be in English. Stay fractalesque says, you look like you could share the gnar, dropping late, racing the smooth face before getting pitted and spitted. What is that? But truth is, you're terrified of the ocean, like you're the biggest baby ever. Making a scene such is so that even children glare at you. Like, what's that granny throwing a tantrum for? Sheesh, adults, am I right? So tell us, is just dipping a toe in an inch of murky water too big of an ask? What? What's he saying? I don't mind the ocean. I, I actually love the ocean. I'm into the ocean. Big J5880 goes, for the longest time I had a crush on you, but then I realized you don't swing that way, which is cool. Whatever makes you happy, love is love. But it, I was sad for me, LMAO. So I also got some <laughs> assumptions on Instagram that said you're bi and another one that had like the rainbow flag. So I want to hear from you. It's a super interesting assumption. And I want to, and like I've said before, I don't share a lot of my private or personal life. Like, what do you think? Like, why do you think stuff like that? And this is not the first comment that I've gotten about it. Don Turbo says, nah, don't buy that. What else? What else? Tell me, what do you think? What do you think? It's because of the Scarlett Johansson thing and Adriana, but Adriana's girl, that scene where Aid is playing tennis, I think about it often. Merkitten thinks it's fitty fitty. Jorge says don't matter. I can still appreciate beauty regardless of gender. <laughs> okay, here it goes. I definitely, definitely am not straight. I love both. I'm currently in a committed relationship, but I'm, I'm all, I'm everything. It doesn't matter, but I'm definitely not like, I, I don't only like men, period. Now, I don't know. I just came out to all of you. So thank you all for being here. Did I lose some viewers? I think I may have. It's okay. It's okay. Who cares? Um, don't matter which way you swing, your beauty is just next level. Oh, thank you, Jorge. When you are getting married, time for you to have a baby and be a mom before you get too old. Wow. Football Jesus. Wow. That's an interesting thing to say to a stranger. Pansexual. I mean, I don't. Yeah, maybe. I, I consider myself more like bi. I'm going to go through some of the Instagram <laughs> assumptions. Someone says you've seen every movie ever made already and just a great actress. This is really interesting because I'm a terrible actress. I don't know how to fake stuff. Very much haven't watched movies. And if I ever watch a movie, I would not watch it in my channel. I just don't have the patience for it. There's many other movies that I need to watch that are not in my channel. So yeah, a lot of people think that I'm faking it. A lot of people think that I'm faking it. It's really weird. I assume that you love to travel. Fun fact, I love visiting places, but I don't love traveling. I don't like to be on a plane. I don't like to be in an airport. I don't like to rush to the airport. I don't like to do check-in. I don't like to go through TSA. I have anxiety being away from my dogs. So I love being in other places, but I don't love to travel. Someone assumes that I'm Colombian. You don't have to assume, bruv. I am. I assume they're a really nice person. I'm nice. I would say I'm nice. I mean, I would say I'm kind of nice. A little, a little spicy, but nice. More 
Rainbow flags. How do y'all catch up on that? Ah, stackles. Not alone, girl. Being bi is beautiful. We get to be awkward with everyone. Yes. Yes, we do. Adam, screw homophobes. We love you for being you. Um, someone thinks that I'm secretly <laughs> in the mafia. I am. No, just kidding. But I, but I know people who are not so secretly in the mafia in the Colombian mafia, which is kind of, kind of worse. Um, Hardcore Mayhem 2008 says, I assume you're a tea drinker over coffee. You're wrong. Tea ain't shit. Coffee is where, how would you, why would you assume that I'm Colombian? They gave us coffee as children. Cafe con leche is literally coffee with milk. We drank it as kids, like five-year-olds just chugging that. We got to school like, we didn't need no cocaine. We had the coffee on us. Besides that you're hot, law, LOL, hotness aside, I love your reactions. Thank you. That's not an assumption, but thank you. You're awesome and have the passion to learn about movies. That's true. I do have the passion to learn about movies. I definitely am passionate about this channel and the movies that I'm watching and the shows and connecting with all of you. So thank you. We're done with the assumptions. Thank you all for assuming. You know what happens when you assume. You're an ass. So thank you, friends. You guys are the best. I couldn't have done any of this without you. I really appreciate you being here, sending your love, sending your gifts, sending your assumptions, being part of my journey. This makes me so happy. This channel fills my soul and I cannot wait to continue doing this with y'all. Expect really great reactions coming up. This month is going to be a little slow because of stuff, but I'll catch up next month and you won't regret sticking around. Follow me on Instagram at Chrissy Reacts. Go to my Patreon if you want to see some stuff. Do the blah, blah, blah. Get it a little Email me at the and I'll see you soon. Bye.